What's going on, bringers? Welcome to your ninth Java tutorial. Again, with me, Travis of my Bring Back. What we're going to learn about today is subclasses, superclasses, and extending. And that's what you're going to learn, so you better like it. Um, what we're going to do is basically, there's some attributes of a dog that uh, are the same as a cat, right? There's attributes of a dog that are the same as a, a fish or an elephant. Uh, because they're all animals, right? So they kind of have some common traits. But what we do is we can, you know, either create those methods within here, and you know, we're like, is it an animal? And then we just can return a boolean value like true or false, you know, um, or you know, does it live on Earth? Yeah, it lives on Earth. It's an animal. So um, there's common attributes. But let's say you're creating, you know, this like pet shop or something with a dog, a cat, elephant, uh, zebra, you know, all the common things in a pet shop. And, you know, you don't want to define this kind of method for each one of these classes, for each dog, for each cat, uh, for each, you know, everything else. Because there's also something called an animal, all those things have in common. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to new class. Sorry if I'm not making much sense, but we're going to create an animal class right here and uh, you know open that bad boy up. And within here, we're going to create some methods. So we're going to say, you know, is um, is it on earth? Pretty lame method, but I can't really think of, you know, something beneficial right now for this application because we aren't really going to work with this within our gaming uh, development but uh, what we can do is we can just do a system printout because we're kind of familiar with that by now or system out print whatever you guys want to say and uh, we're just gonna say yes uh, this thing lives on earth Right, so that's that's a common trait for all animals. So you know we could have defined this method within the dog class, but then if we have an elephant and we're like, hey, does this elephant live on Earth? And then we'd have to set up this method within the elephant class and every other animal class, and they'd just get boring. We don't want to type you know more than we have to, so we're just going to create this class called animal because again, all animals live on Earth, and so they have this common thing uh, within it. So now what we can do is we can basically, uh, the way this works is, you know, generally you want to define the animal class before a dog class, but I was stupid and we did it this way, uh, kind of reverse order. But, um, you know, we have the animal, then we can have, you know, um, a dog, and then we could have defined a breed class, and then we could have defined a gender, you know, whatever, you know, that's probably not the best way, but uh, this is kind of how it works. Common attributes more specific and then more specific uh, yet so now what we want to do is we want to you know have this method within our dog class and how we do that is by saying extends so we're going to extend a class and what class are we going to extend it's going to be the animal class and you guys want to make sure you save all your projects so it recognizes the animal class and there we go now we can use that method and you're like what what are you talking about um, don't know what you mean so what we're going to do is we're going to right click go down to source and then go to override implement methods uh, because Eclipse again makes it easy for you uh, you don't have to remember exactly how everything is typed out and under this animal class here because again we're extending this class so we can use the methods within it we're going to check uh, put a checkbox right by here um, hit OK and it adds it for us automatically we have this method so let's talk through what's going on right now um, or actually let's just demonstrate this real quickly so I'm just going to delete all these other print statements and again we have the Jerome object uh, we're going to say dot forgot to save so we're going to say dot and then we have is it on earth we're going to click that save it and render it or compile it and it says yes this thing lives on earth so pretty basic um, but now let's go into it look at what's actually going on because we have this override thing this super thing and all that stuff so let's quickly talk about the terminology and all that good stuff so the way this works is we have a class and for our example here it's dog and this is called a subclass 
and then whatever we extend um, is called the superclass. This is just the terminology. I'm just going to comment this out. So um, as you can see, the superclass is the more broad aspect of whatever we're creating, and then the subclass is you know even more specific. Um, so what's happening now is we're calling this override method because since we're extending the animal class, we have access to the methods of the animal class. And all we're saying is we're going to override that method. Um, since it's the same name, uh, we're just going to say override. And then we're just going to be like, hey, we could define this as something else if we wanted, like system.out.print. So we could, we could even specify it a little bit more and comment out this line here and uh, basically have our own is it on earth method. Um, basically the override is just saying hey this is from the extended class or the super class and so we're gonna override that and then uh, you know we're gonna create our own little you know uh, system print out for when this method is called. So now if we save it and run it again it's yeah I'm a dog and I live on earth but this is basically pointless because you know we wouldn't even have to extend this if we we're gonna you know create our own little method here the beauty of this um, the beauty of extending allows us to just say hey yeah we're calling to the super class which is animal and we're using the method is it on earth so it's gonna be like okay let's go to the super class bam that's animal so we're gonna jump over there and we have the method is it on earth we're gonna be like okay yeah system print out um, yes this thing it lives on earth or whatever um, so basically uh, that's that's why you want to use extending saves you guys a little bit of you know typing and all that stuff uh, because we can refer to that broader class or the animal class uh, to kind of get some of those common attributes and uh, we don't have to define it for each animal that we do create like a dog snake a rabbit whatever um, because all those things live on earth so we can just type this method once and uh, there we go hopefully that made some sort of sense um, if it didn't don't worry uh, you guys will get more familiar with this when we uh, put it into action this is kind of a lame example but thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial so have a good one peace